Hey, shalom, asha, yasha, I want to start off souls by giving no praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, the Balonas, the apostles of GMS, and honesty, brothers, doing the work in truth, was sincerity. Uh, this one here is, um, you know, I'm just going to call it, and there it is, right? You know, I've been, you know, monitoring this situation with that guy that went with a butcher's knife into the, um, <laughs> Slucky into the house, you know, with them uh, as, you know, so-called Jews on, uh, you know, Hanukkah, so, you know, the day that they celebrate Hanukkah. And just looking at the guy, you know, I was like, yeah, they're going to try, you know, link this with us, right? And, you know, I ain't really seen anything just yet, but, hey, there it is, right? This is the handwritten journal. In fact, I'll start from this, uh, what do you call it? Up here, right, it says a federal complaint filed Monday include description of Grafton Thomas's journal containing references to Nazism and Hitler. Based on a court warrant approved Sunday, the FBI searched Thomas's home and his cellular telephone, finding references to Jews, Hitler, the Nazi culture, as well as packaging for an 18 inch machete, according to the complaint signed by the FBI special agent Judy Brown. The handwritten journal. Journal also contained ref contained reference. The handwritten journal also contained references. Also, I think oh, they meant also references. Uh, what you know they refer to us as the Black Hebrews, or despite the fact you know we've said many a time, right, that we are not, and the fact that you know you have brothers in in the camps which are not, what do you call it, a uh, 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 so called black, right, uh, and we a uh, we ain't black. Right, you know, with, with different shades of brown, right? It says, um, yeah, but that doesn't say whether he's 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 with the Hebrew Israelites. It doesn't say whether he's against the Hebrew Israelites. It just says it references the Hebrew Israelites, right? You know, which just goes to show you what kind of a devil this man is, right? Because this guy, you, you know, one of the things we you know we teach, right, is look, you got to wait for the um, you got to wait for the Mosai. And that's found in the scriptures, Zeph uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8, where ye upon me, right? So he might be like, yeah, but these guys, right, these Hebrew Israelites, though, they don't want to do anything. He could have said that, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know whether the, you know, his journals, you know, the, the, the available for people to read, right? But you don't know whether it was pro or against, but these guys are just going to throw it out there to try link us to it, Right? Even the way, even the way he looks, because you know more than that, it's a false flag or whatever, right? But hey, this is how we know that we're coming closer and closer to the time, right? So this is Matthew five and ten. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, and this is the direction that we're heading in, right? We are gonna start being uh, persecuted and, and labeled certain things, right? But we just gotta continue doing what we're doing. We just gotta continue teaching, right? That's what we've been commanded to do, right? For there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my for my sake, right? And and that's the thing. It's falsely because these guys are going to start bringing that false those those false accusations. And why sh shouldn't we be surprised? Because they did it with the Lord, right? They did it with uh, Yahweh Shai, right? You know they uh, lev lev uh, you know leveled false against false accusations against him all right it says rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you so basically it's nothing new hey what does the scripture say it says jerusalem jerusalem thou that killest the prophets all right it says uh, matthew ten sixteen. behold i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves well, you know, so one of the things we was commanded to do is be harmless as doves. We ain't, we ain't gonna, we ain't, you know, we ain't gonna be going out attacking people being carnal because the scripture says a carnal mind is enmity with with the Most High, right? And we're supposed to have our wits about us. We're supposed to move in wisdom, right? You know, uh, and and there's several things which you say, you know, if at all possible, be peaceable with all men, right? Uh, uh um. Would you call it? At the end of the day, you got to remember the main objective is to teach at the moment. Scripture says in Jeremiah 16, you know, I'll send for many fishes and I'll fish them, right? And that's the period we're in, right? But there will come a time, right, when the Lord sanctions it, right? And the Lord ain't sanctioned it, 
right? When the Lord will send for many hunters and they shall hunt them, right? Verse 17 says, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles But when they deliver you, take note So basically this is going to happen So that men are going to be, you know, uh, hemmed up You know, and basically taken uh, uh, to You know, basically taken to trial right, But hey, which is say, be faithful unto death Why right, is that Revelation? Is it 3 and 9? 3 and 10? Uh, where is that? Two, two and ten. Yeah, this is Revelation two and ten. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a crown of life." Right. So uh, uh, you. We've got to be willing to die for this thing. So you speak about how no greater love hath no man than this, but that he laid down his life for his friend, right? And Yahweh Shah has already done that. And once again, the servant is not greater than his master. So if that, if Yahweh Shah did that, then some of us, not all of us, but some, you know, um, some some from among us may have to lay down their life, uh, uh, you know, for the name of Yahweh Shem Shai, right? Uh, um, but there is a reward, right? Them that die in the Lord, there is a reward for that. This is Acts 5.41. It says, And they departed from the presence of the council, right, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Right, so this is a story of uh, uh, basically when you know, Gamaliel is you know, just told um, them to basically leave the apostles alone. It's like, look, man, don't touch them, man, right? Don't touch them. You know, otherwise, you know, because if, if this work be of men, then, no, it, it, you know, it cannot be overthrown. So it's like Satan. If if this work be of men, then it, it will fall. But if it be of the most, I cannot be overthrown. Right. And when, you know, the council had basically been like, oh, okay, cool, it is what it is, we'll leave it. Right. You know, they beat the apostles on their way out. And they ended up with saying, and they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. So they were, they, you know, they, they felt good that the Lord, you know, that the Lord had, that they had basically been through that for the name of the Lord, right? So when, yeah, you know, when these things do happen, hey, think of scriptures like this, right? Where basically it's like, you know, what happened to the apostles of old happened to the, you know, the teachers of old, right? The prophets of old. Right, and it's just and you know, happening again. You basically feel, uh, uh, you know, the joy that you've been counted worthy to serve the Lord. All right, and you know, I'm gonna, I believe, it's my last last priest. So I'm gonna end with this because this is certainly the direction that we're heading in. You know, um, you know, them trying to link us, and all we're doing, we're just on street corners teaching. You know, we're just on street corners teaching, but these men wanna, you know, come up. You know, there, you know, with, the, with, with these accusations, like we're some hateful people, right? There's an elder brother in our camp, our elder brother Rakat, you know, he was basically, you know, on this whole thing about them killing the uh, the, 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 the military general of Iran's um, uh, Quds force. Right, they, you know, one of the articles was saying that, you know, he was he was in bits, man, he was, he was, sh he was shredded. Man, he was only identifiable by his ring. Right, that's what they were saying, right? But yet they're gonna try and make us look like we're, you know, we're some hateful people. Now we're just teaching, man. You're you're the one that's full of hate, right? But you know, this this man's a devil, right? He, then the word devil means deceiver, right? But there's gonna come a time. Well, I'll read it. Behold, the days come, right? Say if Yahweh. That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Right, so there's definitely going to come a time when, hey, brothers ain't going to be on them streets anymore. Right? They ain't going to be on them streets anymore and, hey, the door is closing. So get this truth while, while it's hot. Right? So, um, yeah, as always, Lord's will, that was edifying. Uh, Till next time, I'm going to say, Shalom.